let's talk about the Juicy Couture tracksuit. In 2000, I was, you know, a New York socialite. I was modeling, I was doing my thing. I loved to go out. The 2000s were all about Britney Spears, boy bands. It was all about monogram and labels, like Chanel and Dior and Louis Vuitton. And I feel like everybody just had really fun with their fashion choices. So I think it was just all about being super extra. I've always been obsessed with wearing lots of pink and sparkles, a lot of Swarovski crystals. I love big chokers, anything that was bright and stood out. And then I started making shirts that said, that's hot. And on the back would say, you're not, it's cute. That's hot is something that my sister actually always used to say, but I trademarked it and I own it. Sorry, Nikki. <laughs> I heard a story that Pam and Gila started Juicy Couture with $200 and then turned that around into a billion dollar company. And that is a total girl boss move. Loves it. I first became aware of Juicy through my friend Laura Schriffman. She was representing the brand. She sent my sister and I in a box. As soon as I put on my first Juicy tracksuit, I was obsessed. I said, please send me more. I want the full collection, every single color. I just fell in love with the brand and basically became my uniform. I have an entire closet that's only Juicy Couture. It's somewhere I go in every single day and just put on my juice. <laughs> I was not only wearing them to the airport or just to you know, chill at my house in, I was going out at night in them and I was rocking them with everything. So I think that they loved that I was kind of like the face of the brand. <laughs> One day I got a call from my agents and they said that Bunim and Murray were looking to do a new reality show. So then I was thinking of who would be the most fun to do it with and I immediately thought of Nicole Ritchie. We've known each other since we were two years old. There is nobody who's Funnier has such a personality, and I knew that we would make the perfect team. <laughs> they didn't say where we were going, so I didn't even know what to pack. I basically just packed all of my favorite outfits, included a lot of juicy, a lot of pink, a lot of heels. <laughs> Within a month, Nicole and I were on a jet. We landed in this little town called Altus, Arkansas. Both of us had never been anywhere like that. They're giving up their plush lifestyle to live on a farm. <laughs> Juicy is something that we wore almost every single day because we are always having to do these jobs. You know, we didn't want to just like be in overalls or jeans. We wanted to be comfortable and cute. When we shot the show, I had no idea how huge it would be. That just took me to another level where I literally could not leave my house without being mobbed every single day. So it was, it was exciting. It was very overwhelming because it was just a lot to take at once. I remember after The Simple Life aired, all of a sudden I started seeing Juicy Couture everywhere. When you'd look through any tabloid, everyone was rocking them. People were going to the airport wearing them. People were going out in them. People were doing music videos in them. And this was not just in LA. I would see people wearing it all around the world. It makes people happy. Yeah, Juicy is a, it is, it's a happy brand. People love it. Everybody loves Juicy. Celebrities wearing it. Britney was always wearing them, J-Lo, Jessica Simpson. I love how girly it is, and um, I just love how you can either dress it up for a huge premiere or you can wear it to the beach. I love Juicy. They have such cozy cashmere sweaters. I love it in the winter the most. Hey, you guys. Happy hour is from 4 to 6. <laughs> I remember seeing Madonna wear it. Also, I saw Mariah Carey wearing it, Beyonce, Kim Kardashian. Basically, everyone was rocking Juicy. Do I even have a house line? I've never used it. And who has my number? It's Juicy calling. <laughs> Before there was Juicy, I think tracksuits were just very sporty and athletic, but they were the first ones to actually make a tracksuit cool. Still today, they have that huge impact in fashion where people are trying to imitate what they did. It's amazing now to see just so many of these looks that I wore are now on the runway and people are rocking them all the time. It makes me feel proud to have had such an impact in fashion history. When people think back on 2000s fashion, the first thing they're gonna think about is Juicy Couture. I've never stopped wearing it and I never will because I'm a Juicy girl for life. <laughs>